Discord have arguably just undergone the biggest update in relation to bots in its platform history, besides verification and stuff like that. This is going to change how bots function. This, of course, is the introduction of slash commands. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining what these slash commands are. I'm going to explain it in a simple circumstance for people that don't develop. And then I'm going to explain it in a more complex circumstance for people that do develop bots. I'm also going to show you the examples that I have currently of how these slash commands work. So stick around and watch the video to find out how this massive overhaul is going to affect you, your server and your bot. But before we get into that, there's a couple of things that I would like to mention first. According to my YouTube statistics, only a small percentage of you are actually subscribed to the channel. So make sure to go and hit that subscribe button because it really helps me out. And also check you're still subscribed because YouTube does unsubscribe people randomly sometimes. Go and like the video and let's see if we can get to 1000 likes in the first 48 hours. And comment some feedback to allow me to improve. And go and check out my editor's social media for today's video. And go and check out my Discord server too. I've got a major video releasing on Friday. So be there at 5pm GMT. You could win massive prizes. I've got over $2,000 worth of stuff to give out alongside some friends. So go and watch that video. It's going to be crazy. Anyways guys, let's get straight into today's video. So I think the best place to start is on the documentation. I will put this documentation in the description with the link so you can go and read it up for yourself afterwards if you want to. Anyways, I'm going to go down this and I'm going to start on the FAQ because the FAQ is more simplified. It's not like the developer API sort of thing and the documentation. It is more simplified to allow people to understand what it is. So let's start with the obvious question. What is a slash command? Well, according to Discord, a slash command will allow a user to simply type a forward slash in order to pull up a full list of commands that a bot can be called to perform without having to actually send a message. So how do you use them? You just type a slash in the chat bar to explore all the slash commands you use in a server. And why do only some bots have them? It's because they're only really just released. They've only really just released the day I'm recording this. So not every developer has actually integrated them into their bot. And before we get into the next part about why do they do it, let me just quickly show you what it looks like visually. So in a physical sense, if I type a forward slash, you will see it brings up a list of slash commands I can use. You've got the slash commands test, which is from this bot, and you've got the built-in ones, because obviously Discord has some built-in slash commands too, which you've been able to use for quite a while. However, these new ones are through the bot. So basically, for example, let's say I wanted to find out what the bot's ping was, and I type slash ping. So this is using the bot's slash command, and I go enter, it will tell me the ping of the bot, which is pretty cool. Another thing which I can do, for example, if I wanted to do an echo and echo the message, I could type something in here. And if I were to send that, it would make the bot send the message and it doesn't show up as a normal message. So as you can see here, it shows this sort of slash command thing and then it shows my name, which you can click on still. And then you can see the uh, slash command. And if you click that, um, nothing happens but it's just clickable um, and then you've got like the bot that was used and then the time as you usually do and if I do like the right click I can obviously delete it but I can't edit it it's um, very different from how a usual message would be so that's pretty cool it basically isn't a standard message you would send it's completely different and it's really going to transform how bots actually physically function and work so let me go over to the API documentation and show you what it looks like on that side. So according to the API documentation, which again will be in the description, a slash command is a command that you register for your application. They're made up of a name, a description, and a block of options, which you can think of like arguments to a function. The name and the description help users find your commands among many others, and the options validate user input as they fill out your command. Global commands are available in every guild that adds your application. You can also make commands for a specific guild that are only available in that guild. An interaction is the message that your application receives when a user uses a command. It includes the values that a user submitted, as well as some of the metadata about the particular instance of the command being used. 
the guild ID, channel ID, member, and other fields. You can find all of these values in our data models. Now you can go and check out the data models for yourself. However, that for developers would probably give you a bit more of an insight actually to what slash commands are. Now to me, and you know, you may be asking, well, custom, can you explain it a bit more? Well, I don't really develop bots. However, I do know, and I have spoken to a lot of people how this is going to really change how Discord bots work. So there's a lot of interactions between the slash commands and the bot users and basically discord bots have worked in the same way for a long time you make an application in the dev portal you add a bot user to it you copy the token that token can be used to connect the gateway and make requests to our api however slash commands and interactions bring something entirely new to the table and the ability to interact without an application without needing a bot user in the guild so it's so so different it's completely different so if you want to find out about all of these commands stuff, make sure to go to this website. I will go and put it in the description and you can find all of the documentation about how to work it, how to add it to your bot and that sort of thing. I'm not going to teach you that in this video. If someone else does, I will probably pin it as a comment. However, this is about the news about slash commands coming out and what they kind of are for the general population of Discord. Realistically, the use of these slash commands is going to be a lot more useful to the average person. It is basically going to make your bot more easy to follow. It's going to allow your users to be able to understand what the bot is doing. It's gonna be able to allow your users to understand what the bot does and how to work the bot generally. It's basically transforming Discord completely. And it's a pretty cool step to allow bot devs to work away from the WebSocket maintenance and towards in-app integration, which basically means it makes bots a bit more of a part of Discord rather than just an add-on. And I've spoken to a few bot developers about this and that's basically what they told me. It's going to be crazy and I can't wait to see how this goes. I hope this video has helped you understand about slash commands and I know this is a very, very small introduction to how they are. However, if you really want to find a full in-depth introduction about it, make sure to go and check out that documentation. I'm not gonna sit here and read it on camera because it's gonna be too long. People are gonna click off the video and it's not very exciting. But for all in all, it's going to really change things for Discord. So make sure to go and hit that subscribe button. Let's see if we can get to 100,000 subscribers soon. It is upcoming, it's big. So let's just find out the average. You know, the bot can do it for our slash command. What is the average? 87,500 subscribers is the average between 75,000 and 100,000. So go and hit that subscribe button, like today's video, and comment below to find out some more things about Discord. And Friday, 5 p.m., GMT, be on this channel, be there or be square, because it is going to be big and you don't want to miss out on almost $2,000 worth of prizes. Anyways, guys, see you soon, enjoy the rest of your day, and peace out.